Good morning, Vikes and Vals. It's Friday, October 27th. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Meredith. And this is NC Squared. An admissions rep from MSU Northern will be here next week on Tuesday, October 31st at 2 p.m. in the Counseling Center to visit with any students who are interested in or have questions about the school. An admissions rep from MSU Billings will be here next week on Wednesday, November 1st at 8 a.m. in the Counseling Center for any students who are interested or have questions about the school. The Auto Shop would like to remind students that drive to school that you need to check your tire air pressure. There are many cars out in the parking lot that are very low. Seniors, the yearbook needs your senior pictures by November 15th, which is 20 days away. Here is Josie and Monique bringing back the dance challenge. Thank you, Will. Nice. Up next is Maya Hardig bringing back Real or Not Real. Thanks, Meredith. For those of you who do not know, Real or Not Real, what? It's a game where contestants guess whether or not a stated thing actually exists. And with that, let's dive right into today's topic, crazy travel destinations. The Panda Inn in Sichuan, China. Pandas are everywhere and the staff dresses pandas as well. Real. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> The pancake rocks in New Zealand. They're basically just rocks that look exactly like pancakes. Um, I'm gonna say real. Woo! Yay! Wait, a prehistoric wall in Cuba. It was painted in prehistoric times and it's got a $15 admission. Correct. Yeah. The Cancun Underwater Museum in Cancun. It's got 400 life life-size sculptures and one of them is a man watching TV on the ocean floor. I'm gonna go with real. Woohoo! Yeah! Let's send it out to Jack Johnson with Word of the Day. Welcome back to Word of the Day with me, Jack Johnson. Today's word is onomatopoeia. We'll be going out and asking students if they know what this word means too. Do you know what onomatopoeia means? I think so. Isn't it like a word for a sound? Yeah, can you give me an example? Whoosh. Yay! Do you know what onomatopoeia means? Uh, I think I do but I don't remember, so no. Great! <laughs> Ms. Londek, do you know what onomatopoeia means? I do, Jack. Onomatopoeia, which is hard to say, is a word that may basically is written the way it sounds. So for example, this was a blast! And I slurp my soup. Back to you, Meredith. Thanks, Jack. The final home game for the Vikes took place on Friday, October 20th. Anna Fox went out onto the field to catch up with the pinked out student section. Well, it's your sister Meredith. Your high school activities include football, tennis, band, honors, and National Honor Society. After high school, Michael hopes to attend the University of Notre Dame, where he will major in medicine, then go on to medical school. High school activities include football, basketball, track, and National Honor Society. He plans on attending MSU or Washington State next year and studying computer science. Chase says, special thanks to my parents for taking care of me the past 17 years. His school activities include football, cheer, and wrestling. After high school, Jaden plans to attend Sacramento City College to play baseball and to study to be a physical therapist. Here's high school activities include football and cheer. And next year he plans on going to the University of Montana to pursue a degree in a wildlife biology. Also, thank you to Augie, Zach, and Austin for giving me a hard time about my snacks. <laughs> and a shout out to my grandpa and grandma. I know you guys are smiling down on me. Here's high school activities include football, golf, including a team state championship in golf, band, and national honor society. Augie has been accepted into Montana Tech, where he will major in petroleum engineering. But my biggest thanks goes to my dad. Being an unforgettable four years, senior football player, Augie Hemsley. His school activities include football, cheer, and wrestling. After high school, Grayson plans on attending college for a business degree and get a PT certification. Grayson says special thanks to my family, especially my mom 
dad and brother for supporting me in everything I do. After high school, he planned to attend college somewhere and continue his military career. Logan says, thanks to all of my family and friends, especially Mrs. Shanks, for pushing me through high school. After high school, he planned to attend Arizona State University and then join the Marine Corps. Dylan says, I would like to thank all of my friends and family for all the support I've been given along the way. Senior football player Dylan Rett. His high school activities include football, basketball, track, student council, and National Honor Society. After high school, Logan plans to attend Montana State University or University of Montana Western. Most of all, I want to thank God for the grace and love he has shown me when I didn't deserve it. Senior football player Logan Taylor. His high school activities include National Honor Society, band, and football. Next year, he plans on attending University of Montana for business and physical therapy. Austin says, a special thanks to my mom and sister for making it to all of my games. I love you guys. And Butters, have fun playing tips in D.C. High school activities include football and basketball. After high school, Zach plans to attend the University Universal Technical Institute NASCAR Division in North Carolina. Zach says, thanks to my mom and dad for helping me through high school and Mr. Melchiori for making school enjoyable. Yeah! Here's a look at the Vikes' last home game pink out student section. I recently discovered a new hairstyle for Brain Hagen. And it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And a little bit of that. And bake! We have a few birthdays this weekend, so make sure to send birthday wishes to Caleb Reed on Saturday and Alex Benz and Eli Tidwell on Sunday. Happy, Happy birthday! That's all the news we have for today, BHS. From NC Squared, I'm Elizabeth Kirby. And I'm Meredith Bedford. Have a wonderful weekend, and please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance Have a wonderful weekend and please <laughs> You recording still? Yeah. Well, geez.